there, but there's no stone there. Oh. Okay. There are muddy stones there. It's 20 miles south of Brampton, I believe. Bradford. Oh, Brampton? Is it Oakdale or o Oakland? Where the, where the, my mother's buried. We had quite a time finding it, but I went up and asked Murray Park Patterson where it is. Oh, that's right. Yes, and I have the letter from him. Furthermore, I can't tell you much except that the rest of... She came from a family of seven. So you're... you're my mother. mother. Mm -hmm. And uh, her oldest sister is buried in Newmarket. And she was a Bogart. Her name was Bogart. Her married name? Yes. Mm -hmm. Well, what were your... Um, what were your father's brothers and sisters? Names? There's quite a few of them, were there? No, there were only four. Only four of in my father's family. There was mm -hmm. there was my father's name was Harry. Yeah. George. Yeah. Isabel. But mm -hmm. who I never knew that we called her Aunt Lola and I didn't know her. She died, I believe, of typhoid fever. And Aunt Grace, mm -hmm. who was Isabel's mother. And uh Isabel in Vancouver. In Vancouver. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And, but uh, my uncle, George, he went to Pittsburgh and he was the manager of a very large department store there. And he had two children by the name of Harry. He named his first son Harry. And my father named his first son George. <laughs> and then he, uh, my uncle, uh, Harry, and uh, son George and May, daughter May, and they married a doctor, Lowell Butters, and he practiced in Welland, in Ontario. And he moved back, he moved to Canada. Mm -hmm. He graduated from Toronto University. Oh. He came over here, and he caught, May was visiting with us at the time, and he was in medicine. And I still remember him going and having a blood transfusion, and he got $25 for it so he could take May out. It may have been five dollars in those days, but he had to take cart May, but May married him. Mm -hmm. And uh, as a matter of fact, when May came over to visit us, when uh, Helen, uh, she was visiting Helen, and she was engaged to some fellow in the States by the name of uh, Boatwright, and her brother always called him Canoe Wrong. <laughs> But she went out with this Lowell Butters, and she did marry him. But Lowell, I believe, has died in the meantime. Mm -hmm. Mrs. A, what was your father's uh, full name, Harry? Um, William. Harry William. And the grandpa, did he come out? He, um... No, was he was born, born here. He was born in Niagara Falls. Mm -hmm. And his father, what was his father's name? Do you remember? Henry Brown. Well, it's Henry. Henry. Well, it's all, it's all through that in there, is it? Yeah, yeah. Down here. But, and Miss is a generation yeah. or so yeah, there. But your mom's got down here out here. Great grandfather, which is pretty good. Mm -hmm. There's a gap, but I mean, it's because they started it's about 1778. <laughs> she was gathering <laughs> all the things that her mother had, Grandmother Brown had. Mm -hmm. And Grandmother Brown was a matriarch, and Isabel McTavish was telling us about this. And you see, they were Church of England people. And when they were living in the falls, evidently, she took her four children to church every Sunday. And she sort of half ran the church. And there was a, pre a preacher from the States came up, and he had something to say that Grandmother Brown didn't approve of. And she gathered up her long skirts, as Isabel said, and she pushed her children and her husband up the aisle, and they marched up the aisle and out of the church, and she went into the Baptist church. And my father said she practically organized the Baptist church in Niagara Falls. So right then and there, she left the Anglican church. She'd have nothing more to do with it. And that's how they, so they were all rich in the Church of England. They and were, finally, yes. Uh, turned Baptist because my, of it. Yeah, Grandmother Brown, she was a real <coughs> old matriarch, I should say so. And did they, did they, were they born in, was she and her husband born in Canada or did they come over? She married a second time. Or, no, was she the second wife? She married a second time. I think her first husband's name was Isabella Cole. Yeah. He, her first husband was married to a Dalton. And they had one child, Eliza, yeah, who never married. And then he married, I believe, Isabella Cole. 
my grandmother's name was Cole, and I think they immigrated, but they were here when he married mm -hmm. the second time. Well, they, and they were from England. They were from England. And then there was another part of your family that was from France, wasn't it? Oh, my mother's mother's family were from France, yes. I don't know what part of France. Mm -hmm. And they were the Havens. My mother's own mother, mm -hmm. who died when my mother was born. Mm -hmm. But there were seven in her family. But they, they were born in Canada, like seven in her family. But yes. They, they were born in Canada. Mm-hmm. Robert. Your, cat go back to your, your cat wouldn't go back to your mother's? I have nothing about my mother's family there, and I don't know anything about them, really, other than the fact that they were a bunch of, As a matter of fact, one of my cousins died a couple of weeks ago, and his name... Well, no, he was married to a cousin of mine. Mm -hmm. I noticed in the paper a couple of weeks ago he died, his name was Ingram, and they used to live over uh, just off Jane when they were first married. Well, where did your mother live? Where was, where did, where was she? London. Brampton. My father's name was, my grandfather's name was Edie. Yes. And he knew the Bell Telephone Man. Grandfather's name was Graham Bell. Graham Bell. And he, he, when Graham Bell invented it, he was the one who told him that it was a new thing. Of, uh, and he wouldn't have, no he wouldn't have any stock in it whatsoever, no sir. <laughs> he wanted him to put a phone in his house and he'd have nothing to do with it. But they were, she was born in London, Ontario, was she? I think, no, she was born in Bradford. In Bradford? Uh -huh. then, they, then they moved to London? I think they were in London for a while, yeah. Most of the relatives lived in London. Ontario. Mm -hmm. And that would still be the Havlins. No, the Beatties. Um, Have one for the grandmother. Oh, yeah. No, yeah.